Let's solve the church's hidden objects challenge. Woohoo! Hidden objects! Yay! A gargoyle! Ooh, that, that seems appropriate. We have a wreath. The important item is a chisel. I think we'll be using it twice in this video. I'll use a hint to find an angel! Aww. We've got a shoe. We need a snake and a sickle. Is that a snake? No, that was a millipede. Okay, that's that's a lizard. Uh, this is a snake. That's a snake. A cylinder. That looked like a hat to me, but it's a cylinder. And we have an old watch. Put them all together, and what do you got? I don't know. It's uh, it's the chisel. That's the important item. And let's go inside the church for a cutscene. Okay, so this is creepy. Everybody seems to be uh, brainwashed, and we've got that creepy guy who stole the dagger from my room. I clearly don't want to cross his path again, so I'm just going to grab this. That's the only thing I can grab. It's a candelabrum part, and believe it or not, that's going to unlock like a huge area. A huge area for me. Uh, we also have the graveyard over here on the right. Let's see, a book by... Okay, that's an important thing. We want to find that book. There's no lock on this gate, so I'll use the garden shears. And it's a slot for something I don't have. I bet when I put something in a slot, it opens up the gate and we can continue exploring. Let me grab two candles for reasons I don't understand yet. And, uh, oh, the hint button says we should check out evidence. Well, I say forget about it. I'll, I'll do that later. Let's go all the way back to the outside area. To the backyard. So the candelabrum goes here. Oh. Well, gee, I thought that was going to open up a whole big area and everything. Map. What do I need to do? Well, oh, map says I absolutely do have to check out the uh, evidence in my bedroom. Fine, fine. We'll, we'll go to the bedroom, do this evidence deduction. Let's see. People in the church are... Uh, I, I, I have no idea. Hint, help me. People in the church are part of the bell. It seems a bell is used as a medium to control the people in Maple Creek, entrancing them, summoning them to the church for some kind of dark prayer. I need to find a way to stop the bell! Alright, I, I think that was something I could have figured out on my own. Like, clearly the evil bell was controlling them, right? Clearly that's the case. And because I know the bell is evil, I have a hidden objects challenge here in the backyard. I'm not sure why this is a hidden objects challenge. Like, is this really the time and place? Yes, it is, because this hidden objects challenge will give us some rope. And it's a very important rope, but first I need to find everything else. I'm finding the rope because it will let me make a, a grappling hook to get into the bell tower. Okay, I need to find a wallet and a padlock. Padlock over here. A pair of scissors over here. A ball and a, a pig. That's a ball. Pig, wallet, and a dove. Let's see, there's the pig. It's a little piggy pig. And then here's the wallet. I'll use a hint for the dove. Which is right over there. Excellent. So, do you remember where we can get a grappling hook? It's downstairs. It's downstairs in the basement here. This isn't how I remember it. Someone's been here and examined the body. Creepy. Creepy. Well, the rope goes over here. That gives me access to the bell tower. But first, we have a hidden objects challenge. Let's see if we can find these items. We have a tambourine. We have a microphone. We have some gloves. We have some lug bolts somewhere. 
And let's see, more gloves. There should be a key just lying around. I don't see it. There's a snowflake, soccer ball. Eagle is somewhere here, maybe? Ow! Oh, I don't see it. Uh, bugle's somewhere around there. Beads right there. Leaf and a key. And a walking cane. It feels like it should be one of those objects, but it's not. There's the key. The key's right there. Yeah, we've got these long sticks. None of them are walking canes, though. Oh dear. One, two. Ha! Ah, hey! One of them was a walking cane! Great. There's a brush. Finally, a leaf. Where is a leaf? There's a hint. Hint says the leaf is right there. Good. So that gives us the rusty key to that gate outside. Let's go outside. Back outside, everyone. Rusty key goes here. We open the gates, and this gives ah <laughs> scary person, and it gives us a big area to explore. One of the things we explore here is a hidden objects challenge. Can you believe it? A hidden objects challenge. All righty. So let's see. Paintbrush. We need to find arrows and a coin purse. Found two paintbrushes anyway. Arrows and a coin purse and a feather and a shovel and a lizard. Wow, this is a lot of hidden objects challenges thrown at me all in a row. I'm not sure I can handle it. There's the camera. A lantern and a lizard and an iron and pliers. Ooh, there's an arrow. That was totally an arrow. And then those are totally pliers. Iron, lantern, coin purse, and arrow. Iron. Iron back here, right? That's an iron? No, that's not an iron. That's apparently some sort of kettle. Well, darn. Shovel. Lantern. All right, found the coin purse and the lantern. Iron shovel arrow. I mean, iron feather. Feather should be easy to find, right? Ah! That sounded like somebody walking around. Feather. Feather. Okay, that was an iron. Very hard to see. Next, we have the arrow and the feather. See either of them. There's an arrow. And there's the feather. Great. It's the same color as that mallet, making it kind of difficult. So we need to get that, except there's a crack in the bottom, so I guess we can't get that. So I'm going to use the chisel here. It's going to get me inside this house. And I'm going to use the chisel again. Told you we'd use it twice. And that gives me an item here. Let's see. It looks like the people here were having an evening snack. Ah, there's, there's a mysterious face outside. Somebody was spying on me. Hmm. Can't see that person. Anyway, uh, this is a glass piece. This gives us a puzzle. So this is... Sort of like a slider puzzle. We want to move these pieces around to form a picture. So let's see. Hmm. I need to get this corner piece here. This corner piece here. That way I can slide like this in the bottom row. And I've got the bottom row all done. So now let's see if I can figure out where pieces go on this... Uh, our right hand side that looks good yep that looks good on the far right hand side 
But uh, on the left hand side, we, we've got a problem. Let's see. If I move a piece like that, I don't know if that'll work or not. Let's see. That man goes there. That man's head has to go there. Which means this guy's head goes up there. Got it! So now I get to do the right hand side and the empty piece, the upper left corner is an empty piece here. So that makes it kind of tricky. Oh man, I've got to get this piece here because the uh, uh, upper left is empty, right? So let's see, how do I get that piece there? Y you might find it easier just to bring those two holes together. That way you have more room to maneuver in. Maybe. Looks like you might have to finish with the upper top because the upper left piece, as I said, is the empty one. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. Let's worry about that top place later. Now let's go to the bottom. It looks like the bottom goes a bit like this. Yes, maybe. Where's a right? Here's a right hand piece. We've got two right hand pieces there. No right hand piece. Go right. So it has to look something like this, correct? Where's the final right hand piece? There we maybe go? Is that the entire right hand side? Looks pretty good. Looks like this man needs to be kneeling though, right? So let's get this man kneeling if we can. Ah! I'm trying to move these pieces around. The game is not like 100% listening to me when I'm talking. I mean, when I'm moving the pieces around, I'm not actually talking. Well, I mean, I am talking. E whatever, whatever. There we go, that's the entire right-hand side done. Here's this piece done. And now, uh, ooh, left-hand side needs to be uh, massaged a little bit, because that goes there. This piece goes the no, this goes here, which means this piece goes in that empty spot there. Hmm. Right, because one of the last pieces we have to move is the upper left hand piece. So that's where this gets to be tricky. Right hand side done. Left hand side done. There we go. Sorry if that puzzle took a, a particularly long time. Now we need to flip the switches in the correct order. Oh, how am I supposed to know the wrong order? Well, here it is, okay. One, and then two, three, four following those numbers. Alright, so the magic book. The graveyard said this is the magic book. Well darn, we only have this. We don't we, we, we don't have anything else. Alright, so are we all done with this room? Are we all done with this room? Have we finished we finished that long long puzzle? Now let's keep going down the country lane. So I don't think there's anything down here in the country lane. A rickety fence Need something to fix that rope. Let's go to the farm. Can't go to the farm now. We have an angry dog. So let's go to the ruins instead. So the ruins have two areas, I think. One on the left, one on the right. I guess one in the middle, you might say. Uh, we need to use a shovel to clean this off. And 
this gives us a jigsaw puzzle. Hooray! Fortunately, there's writing on a lot of these pieces, so that makes it a little easier to figure out what goes where. It's like Crystal Spring goes there. Hmm. This looks like it goes on the top. Crystal Spring also looks like something which goes on the top. There we go. Flower Meadow. Our tree. Where's our tree go? It looks like it would be at the bottom, though. Hmm. Here's a lake. It says Frog Pond. Okay, let me move that big piece out of the way. Hmm. This piece here, maybe? It is proving to be difficult. Here we go. Frog Pond has to be like a far right piece, correct? Those two pieces have to go together. Our tree. Here we go. There we go. That's a piece on the bottom. That's the frog pond. Still not sure where these pieces are in relation to each other. Flower meadow. Far on the right hand side. Great. So, indeed, it is a human-shaped rock. Now I have a new evidence deduction, which I will make in a moment. Let's check out this left area. Let's see, the knife is jammed. I have a wind-up key. Doesn't work. I need to move... I, I need to put a soldier in place before I can move this. And let's do that evidence deduction, then. There are runes on this piece of paper. They look like the runes in the, the bell sketch, so I need to find the rest of the page. So obviously I'm going to put the runes on the rune code. And can I move any other evidence around? So that map goes near the statue. It's a figure which is caption statue looks like this rock. I'm going to use the tower to locate where that is. And that's going to be, I think, like at the end of this video. I'm going to use one more hint to make sure I'm done with evidence here. Evidence is really tricky in this game. Evidence says we are ever done with this area. Nice. And hint button says I forgot to look at this. I remember now. Before. Hmm. I went to a creepy rock with runes on it once before. I I want to find that mysterious place. I sure do. So we've got a bunch of a bunch of things we can do. Let's go backwards. Go backwards. I bet one of them's a hidden objects challenge. Haven't seen one of those in a while. All right. We have some nails. I am just not very good at this particular hidden objects challenge. I apologize. So I need to find the flashlight. Two flashlights. Magnifying glass. A hammer. Two hammers. A grinder and gloves. Those are gloves. Boxing gloves don't count as gloves, but I did find a grinder. Dolphin. Banana peel envelope and hammer. Hmm. Banana peel. Envelope, hammer, and gloves. Found the gloves. So envelope, hammer, and a cog. That's a tie. Tap. There's a tap. Okay, cog, envelope, hammer. Only three items. Hammer. 
cog. That cog was hiding off screen practically. And envelope. That gives me some glass cleaner so I can fix that telescope area. Nice. We're going up to the balcony. Going inside. Another hidden objects challenge. Wowzers. So that is a video camera. We have a floppy disk over here. We have a nutcracker and a TV remote. TV remote. Flashlight. I mean, lollipop. Flashlight. Padlock coins and a wallet. So some of these are items we, we find in a lot of hidden objects challenges, like a padlock is in several of them. Camera, wallet, padlock, nutcracker, camera. Exclamation mark. I don't see an exclamation mark. I guess nobody was very excited about this hidden objects challenge. There you go. There's the padlock. So exclamation mark, nutcracker. Ooh, calculator. I did not see that on the list. That's an easy item to find. So wallet, nutcracker, and exclamation mark. Wallet here. Nutcracker and exclamation mark. Nutcracker there. Let's find that exclamation mark. That gives us a dollar coin. That's also an item for using the telescope. So that's good. Let's go back to the telescope then. Oh yeah, and here in the car I can use the test tube to get some acid. I'll need that. Not right now, in a moment, in a moment, let's go to the tower. Uh, looks like I've got my hint meter all filled up, so I'll use my hint for evidence. Oh, it says there's no new evidence. Great! Great, that's good. So I look at this, I use glass cleaner, and a clean rag. It says I need a dollar. Alright, here's the dollar. So I need to find the rock. I believe the rock, it, it, it's high up, so let me change the focus to look at things that are far away. There. Now to find a reference point, and I believe the reference point is like directly below it. Should be that big tree. Hmm. I think I've already lost track of that rock that I was uh, balancing from. Where was it? It was here. So, is there anything cool directly south of it? Nope, all I see is just woods. So that's in max focus. Now let's try middle focus. Hmm. That not a reference point? I guess that's not it. Range. Well, where's that large tree? Because large tree is here. Ah! Alright, so I see the problem now. It says the rock is just north of it. Um, okay. That was my problem. I was looking directly south because I knew the tree... I mean, the rock is north of the tree. But no, looking straight down, assuming that's south, is not what you want to do. So, um, you might have noticed our, our instructions, objectives, say we need to reach the rock and search for the stranger. I know I should go north, but I need something to point me in the right direction. 
I'm going to have to get a compass, and I believe I get a compass from this hidden objects challenge, but we can't access that right now. We need to save those poor people in the church. So, grappling hook goes up there to the belfry. You notice this is damaged. It, it, it looks broken. But the tree, ooh, I mean, the bell, it rings, it rings, it's evil. I use the acid to destroy it. Everybody panics and runs away. Well, I defeated the bell, and now I can take that creepy clapper. Do I really want to? Yes, I do. And I have the hidden objects challenge for that compass. Let's find the compass. We have an owl, and an owl, an urn, a shoe print, uh, hourglass, lantern. Lizard, glove, I still need the compass, the coffin handle, where is that compass? It's the very important compass that I need. Right there. So before I use the compass, I want to check in on the church, see what's going on here. What the? How'd I get here? And where's the preacher? I, I've been coming here every day for years, and he's always here. Well, I, I was home, talking to my late wife's memory, when the storm broke. That, that's the last thing I can recall. Oh, I feel so weak, legs wobbling like a newborn calf's, like, like something just drained the life from me. But uh, about that girl you're looking for, I saw her a few times with the boy from the farm west of my house. Watched them two right from my balcony. Ah, so his house was the house that we were breaking into and exploring. So we need to find a way onto the farm because that's where the missing girl is. Man, this sure feels like waking up from a bad dream. Unfortunately, I don't think... Well, this is locked. Unfortunately, it's locked. I don't think we have a way to get past the dog right now. What is this? No handle, no lock. This is the dagger that man stole from my room. Yeah, we knew something was down here because of one of those photos. And we have a new deduction. So where was the photo? One of these, right? No, not this. That's a secret hideout. Well, that's where we knew about that book. Maybe we didn't have a photo of the church. I could be wrong. So let's see. The murder weapon goes here with murder weapon, right? Dagger. Blood on it. Must have served some dark rituals. But where did they take place? Hmm. Yeah, so new objective, find the crime scene. I mean, I guess that's always been, like, uh, an objective for us to solve eventually. And it looks like none of these items can be placed on our deduction board. It's kind of a shame. We've got five pieces of evidence. None of them help. None of them. So let me check my map to make sure we're all done with everything. Uh, there's something back at the Lonely House. Something back at the Lonely House. Well, let's go all the way back to the Lonely House. See what I missed there. Yeah, I, I hope it wasn't a hidden objects challenge because that would take a while. What did I miss? This, this. Here we go. It's that piece of evidence about the, the preacher's hideout, maybe. Well, do I put it here? Anyway, uh, that's definitely what let me knew. No, there, there is something hidden there. Uh, inside the church. Looks like we need to find all three candles and put them in uh, specific locations. Put them in specific locations before we can open up that secret hideout. So, now we're pretty much all done. We've got nothing to do anywhere except for use the compass. 
So we'll use the compass in the woods. The meeting place should be just north of here. We're going north of the tree. So always go in the direction that N is pointing. There's some sort of rock formation up ahead. Could it be the one from the photo? Sure is, and we'll be exploring this creepy rock in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone!